So in the context of a, a normal audit report on modified, describe the content of a liability disclaimer paragraph. Okay. So it doesn't say do it, you know, precisely, just, just describe it. So basically a liability disclaimer paragraph used more and more nowadays by the way but a liability disclaimer paragraph just basically says that the responsibility uh or not the responsibility the report i mean is solely for the use of the members of the company that we're auditing their members and remember it's as a body not as individuals Okay, it's only for the use of those and therefore no responsibility to others. That's basically what it's trying to do. Discuss the main arguments for and against, so for and against, the use of this. Well, there's an obvious advantage, isn't it? You, you reduce your legal expo exposure to others, to those outside the members of the company. You're giving clarity as to who the report is for. It might also uh, put off people who are thinking of suing you and they say, yeah, well, okay, they've got that disclaimer in, we don't really have a leg to stand on. Uh, and also, to an extent, it might reduce the expectation gap. People think that uh, you know, the, the report is for everybody and we say, no, this is who it's for, this is who it's been produced for, etc. Disadvantages of it then, you know, by putting these in, I think the biggest one is possible lower quality audits because we're not so bothered about being sued by doing things incorrectly and so therefore you have the possibility of lower quality audit. Um, and the flip side of that is not really needed if we do a good quality audit, if we use a good or full due diligence, due care and diligence. That shouldn't really be needed. And then one other final negative is, well, even, even the disclaimer doesn't always work. It actually depends on the case, depends on the circumstances. Okay.